Hey everyone, C here, and let me tell you, last night was a night for the history books. Dustin Wolf, the man, the myth, the legend, finally earned his first NHL shutout. Can you believe it? I mean, we all knew this day would come, but to actually see it happen? Unbelievable. Wolf was absolutely dialed in, stopping everything the other team threw at him. It was a goaltending clinic out there, folks. But it wasn't just Wolf. The Flames played a really solid game in front of him, and we gotta talk about that Miramanov goal. So buckle up, because we're breaking down all the biggest moments from last night's game, including Wolf's incredible performance, that snipe from Miramanov, and yeah, we gotta talk about the power play. Let's do this. All right, let's start with the main event. Dustin Wolf's first NHL shutout. This was a game that will be remembered for years to come, a night where a young goaltender etched his name into the annals of hockey history. I mean, where do we even begin? The atmosphere in the arena was electric. The fans could feel something special was about to unfold. This kid was on fire from the drop of the puck. From the very first whistle, you could see the determination in his eyes. He was ready to take on the world. Right off the bat, he was tested with a couple of tough shots early in the first period. Remember that breakaway? It was a heart-stopping moment for everyone watching. Yeah, the one where the forward tried to go five-hole? Wolf shut the door, stone cold. It was a textbook save that showcased his incredible reflexes and composure under pressure. And it wasn't just the big saves, although there were plenty of those. It was the consistency, the way he handled every shot with the same level of focus and precision. It was the way he commanded the crease, the way he tracked the puck, the way he seemed to always be in the right position. His movements were fluid, almost like he was anticipating the play before it happened. He was seeing the puck like a beach ball out there. Every shot seemed to slow down for him, giving him that extra split second to react. You could tell he was locked in, focused, and determined to earn that shutout. His concentration never wavered, not for a single moment. And you know what? The guys in front of him responded. They fed off his energy, his confidence, and it elevated their game as well. They played with a certain level of confidence knowing that Wolf had their back. It was a true team effort, but Wolf was the backbone. There were a couple of times where the other team had some sustained pressure, but Wolf never looked rattled. He faced each challenge head on with the poise of a seasoned veteran. He just stayed calm, cool, and collected. His demeanor was unshakable, a true testament to his mental toughness. He made it look easy, but trust me, it wasn't. The level of skill and concentration required to perform at that level is immense. That's the mark of a truly special goaltender, someone who can rise to the occasion and deliver when it matters most, and the stats don't lie. His performance was nothing short of spectacular. He stopped all 37 shots he faced. Each save was a testament to his skill and preparation. That's not just good, that's lights out. It's the kind of performance that makes you sit up and take notice. This kid is the real deal, folks. He's got the talent, the work ethic, and the mental fortitude to be a star in this league. I've been saying it for a while now, and last night he proved it to the entire league. This was his coming out party, and he didn't disappoint. Dustin Wolf is a name you're going to be hearing a lot more of in the years to come. This is just the beginning for him. Remember this night, because it's just the beginning of what promises to be an incredible career. The future is bright for Dustin Wolf, and we can't wait to see what he does next. Okay, so we've talked about Wolf's incredible shutout, but we gotta give credit where credit is due. Daniil Miromanov, take a bow. This young defenseman has been nothing short of spectacular, and tonight, he showed why he's one of the most exciting players to watch. That game-winning goal was an absolute thing of beauty. It wasn't just any goal, it was a masterpiece that showcased his skill, vision, and timing. I mean, the way he jumped up into the play, received that pass, and absolutely wired it top corner? Are you kidding me? What a shot! The precision, the power, the sheer audacity to take that shot in such a crucial moment, it was all there. Let's break it down. It all started with some great work down low by the forwards, who managed to dig the puck out from along the boards. They were relentless, fighting for every inch of ice, and their hard work paid off. The puck was then cycled back to the defense, who kept the play alive with some smart heads-up hockey. They didn't panic, they didn't force anything, they just waited for the right moment. 
He then found his teammate with a nice little pass, who then, seeing Miramanov sneaking in from the point, feathered a perfect pass right onto his stick. It was a thing of beauty, a perfect example of teamwork and chemistry. Miramanov didn't hesitate for a second. He received the pass in stride and absolutely ripped it. The timing was perfect. The shot was perfect. It was a goal scorer's goal. The goalie had absolutely no chance. The shot was so well placed, so powerful, that it was in the back of the net before the goalie even had a chance to react. The bench erupted, the crowd went wild, and Miramanov was mobbed by his teammates. It was a moment of pure joy, pure elation. The kind of moment that makes all the hard work, all the sacrifices, worth it. It was the kind of goal that gets the entire team going, and you could just feel the momentum shift after that. The energy in the building was electric, and you could see the confidence growing on the bench. It was a gutsy play by Miramanov to join the rush like that, but it paid off big time. He saw an opportunity, he took a risk, and it paid off in the best way possible. That's the kind of offensive instinct that you can't teach. It's something that comes from years of playing the game, from understanding the flow of the play, and from having the confidence to make a difference. And you know what? It was the game winner. In a tight, hard-fought game, it was Miramanov's goal that made the difference. It was the kind of goal that players dream about, the kind of goal that defines careers. That's right, Miramanov's goal stood up as the deciding factor in a 1-0 victory for the Flames. It was a moment that will be remembered for a long time, a moment that will be talked about for years to come. Talk about a night to remember for the young defenseman. He was rock solid in his own end all night and then goes out and scores the game-winning goal? It's the kind of performance that makes you sit up and take notice. He was rock solid in his own end all night and then goes out and scores the game-winning goal? You love to see it. It's the kind of performance that makes you believe in the future of this team, the kind of performance that makes you excited for what's to come. Miramanov's performance was a perfect example of what it means to be a complete player. He was strong defensively, he was smart with the puck, and he was dangerous offensively. It's the kind of performance that makes you proud to be a fan. You love to see it. Nights like this are what make hockey so special, what make it the greatest game in the world. And for Miramanov, it's just the beginning. The sky's the limit for this young star, and we can't wait to see what he does next. All right, so we've talked about the good, now let's talk about the bad. The power play. This is an area that has been a thorn in the side of the team for quite some time now. Look, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, the power play has been struggling lately, and last night was no exception. It's been a recurring issue that has fans and analysts alike scratching their heads. They had a glorious opportunity in the second period, with a 5-on-3 advantage for a full two minutes. This is the kind of situation that can turn the tide of a game, giving the team a significant edge. Two minutes. That's an eternity in hockey time, especially with the man advantage. You'd expect them to capitalize on such a golden opportunity, right? And what did they do with it? Nothing. It was a missed opportunity that could have changed the momentum of the game. Well, not quite nothing, but pretty darn close. They had a few near misses, but nothing that really threatened the opposing goalie. They managed a few shots on goal, but nothing particularly dangerous. The opposing goalie had a relatively easy time handling those attempts. The puck movement was stagnant, they were forcing passes, and they just couldn't seem to set up in the offensive zone. It was like watching a team that had lost its rhythm and confidence. It was frustrating to watch, especially considering how well they were playing at even strength. The contrast was stark and baffling. Now, I'm not hitting the panic button just yet. There's still time to turn things around. It's a long season, and these things happen. Slumps are part of the game, and every team goes through them. But it's definitely something they need to address sooner rather than later. The longer this issue persists, the harder it will be to fix. They have too much talent on that power play unit to be this ineffective. These are players who have proven themselves time and again. They need to find a way to get back to basics, simplify their game, and start burying some chances. Sometimes, it's about going back to what you know works. Maybe it's a matter of changing up the personnel, maybe it's a matter of tweaking the strategy, or maybe it's just a matter of bearing down and executing. Each of these elements can play a crucial role in turning things around. 
Whatever it is, they need to figure it out quickly because a potent power play can be the difference between winning and losing, especially in tight games like last night. A successful power play can boost the team's confidence and change the course of their season. Imagine the energy in the arena when the team finally breaks through and scores on the power play. It can electrify the crowd and give the players a much needed boost. The coaching staff needs to instill a sense of urgency and focus during practice sessions. They need to drill the fundamentals and ensure that every player understands their role. Team unity and support are also crucial. The players need to have each other's backs and work together to overcome this challenge. With hard work, determination, and a bit of luck, they can turn their power play woes into a strength. It's all about finding that spark and building on it. And when they do,